Hello sir, Hello. welcome to Neo Science sir. Right. Uh, so what are the latest technologies happening in the in Dr. Reddy lab? So, you know, uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the Dr. D's um, vision, right, like, you know, we need to, the vision is uh, uh, how can we, how can we enable or ensure, like, you know, affordable medicines to patients. That's the, you know, vision Dr. D is carrying. And, uh, you know, we know, like, you know, what are the kind of um, uh, pandemic that we have gone through and how people have struggled. So what Dr. D did is immediately uh, in an agile manner, right, to ensure people are you know, able to recover from such kind of uh, pandemics, uh, actually quickly created a very good portfolio of let's say, COVID-related medicines. Uh, many medicines, many, uh, including vaccine is what uh, uh, Dr. D has tried, this is uh, Sputnik V, uh, is the vaccine Dr. D has tried immediately Apart from that, uh, uh, molecules, re, mole, molecules like remdesivir, all these are quickly doctor is created and then uh, try to help uh, patients as quickly as possible. And to the latest, to that latest is like say the the new molecule that is came up is uh, called as molnupiravir, all right. And then which we are, uh, the research is still going on whether it will be effective against the new variant uh, Omicron, etc. Our, there is a very good portfolio that the doctor has created uh, to help patients in terms of uh, COVID, uh, uh, cure from pandemic such as uh, 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 COVID. Right? Uh, now, apart from that, there are several other portfolios uh, as we discussed, anti-diabetic, uh, anti-hypertensive and also getting to now uh, nutraceuticals, uh, you know, the nutrition nutrition business. Many, many portfolios is what uh, you know, doctor is getting into not just in India, right? like India is of course becoming a major market for Dr. D's and from a strategy perspective. Apart from that, Dr. D's also uh, uh, supporting all over the world, all over the globe. There are there are major markets identified and then uh, Dr. D's supporting um, or uh, trying to cure uh, uh, the diseases for the patients. That's what is Dr. D's trying to do. Now, uh, to enable these things, right? Like there are several in innovative innovation need to be done. Right? Uh, not uh, one is that uh, to make these medicines quicker, mm -hmm. to develop quicker, and to manufacture quicker. There are a lot of innovation innovation activities need to be done. So that is where industry, the analytical industry, is coming into uh, help. To again, analytical is also contributing to all these aspects, right? Not just pharmaceutical uh, uh, industry alone can do these kind of activities. That is where, let's say, if there is an you know, automation or in, in the advancement in instrumentation, that is where we will be able to identify or uh, uh, develop a medicine quickly mm -hmm. and also test the medicine quickly, let's say, if it is coming to quality control, etc., uh, to give medicines, the faster and affordable medicines to you know, patients. Right? That's where analytical industry is actually helping pharma to enable uh, faster delivery to supply. Uh, how equipped is uh, India for the scientific instrument sector manufacturer or state of the art technologies? Yeah, so how India is equipped, right? I think uh, India India is mainly uh, thriving on generic industry. Right? So generic means uh, we are not innovators, of course, we, uh, we are not doing new drug discoveries, etc. So what is really required? Like in the, in the for generic industry, what is really required is agility. Agility in the sense, in order to develop uh, medicine, generic medicine very quickly. So, what I, what I, my uh, take, you know, from this one, like what, understanding the analytical industries, right? There, there is there are standard set of instruments, which is um, which is there, and. Uh, Pharma industry is using those things. There is there is a connect uh, kind of connect with let's say with the quality control or with the uh, uh, the R and D labs. So there is a connect standard connect which is uh, which is there. But what about the latest development? Uh, that is uh, that need to come up with. What are the what are the challenges pharmaceutical industry is having? And then how technology can help or instrumentation can help pharmaceutical industry to uh, sort sort out such kind of challenges. I think that is where more collaboration is required 
to understand what is pharmaceutical industry challenges and how can you know the instrumentation can or the technology can help you know overcome such kind of challenges that is where i i feel uh, in terms of preparation or how analytical industry need to come come forward okay. this is one of the very important aspect that i have seen if we if we understand challenges by getting into the uh, shop floor of pharmaceutical industry that is where uh, i think we'll be able to do much more of course the available uh, instrumentation etc i think people are you know or the industry is already pharmaceutical industry is already using to the maximum extent possible still there are many uh, technologies available but people are not aware okay. so there's a connect that is missing okay. that's where i think more uh, connect is required so uh, do you have any plans to like connect to people and make them aware about the uh, drug yes so this kind of uh, let's say you now we are here in exhibition so this kind of events will certainly help to get, reduce that gap another thing what is really required is we need to you know every organization let's say if it's an analytical uh, organization or is a pharmaceutical organization my suggestion is there should be an ecosystem built right ecosystem in the sense like you no know, if i have a challenge to whom i can reach out quickly mm-hmm. or let's say to whom i can uh, connect with quickly to discuss and come out with uh, such kind of solutions challenges etc i think that's where um, we are working on you know as dr ds we are uh, trying to create an ecosystem uh, will let's say uh, giving a challenge if you are having any challenge uh, problem mm-hmm. you now will be giving challenge to uh, uh, to the ecosystem and whoever want to come up with uh, find out give us a solution mm-hmm. we are uh, we are happy. there are many ways uh, like you know, how this ecosystem can be built in that's where one of the thing we are working on we are also planning to do something like you know uh, instrumentation day within dr d's so as to communicate mm-hmm. as many as new technologies possible to the uh, operating operating personnel at mm-hmm. dr d's that's one of the things that we are um, one of the starting starting things then there are many more plans to uh, there in, in, in pipeline like what are those plans in the sense like so this uh, not just creating one time uh, instrumentation day right there need to be a continuous connect is required for that you know creating ecosystem there is an uh, let's say other it is startup or established companies so there need to be people who are always in constant touch okay what is happening how this can be uh, this technology can be adopted how this can be cost effective right mm-hmm. not just uh, bringing in new technology technologies we need to do continuous innovation using technology that's the you know processes that we are setting up so how much time does it take to uh, innovate i mean to innovate a, uh, in i mean uh, technology or you to prepare a drug how much time does it take so if you look at you know so if you talk about generic generic medicines so depends depends on depending on the complexity of the molecule that we are working on anywhere between 10 months to 24 months or 36 months is what uh, to develop a new drug or uh, to create a generic uh, medicine it, it takes the development process itself plus there is filing uh, that timeline etc is there uh, one is about so there are two things right one is development and the second is uh, uh, the quality control uh, processes which is routine activities mm-hmm. in the both the places uh, this kind of connects or innovation is uh, really required so uh, dr reddies have uh, prepared and have manufactured a pill to cure or prevent uh, covid so how effective was it is it and uh, when it comes to omicron is that drug uh, like can we use that drug so that's what i mentioned like you know when it comes to uh, not just one medicine but there's mm-hmm. a huge good good portfolio portfolio that uh, that has got created in term, you know in terms of covid 19 uh, there are even how to prevent right to, to, for preventing uh, to start with preventing we have vaccines sputnik and then uh, if if it is you know, even if it is getting affected there are many medicines uh, many different types of uh, medicines got created uh one of the new entrant is uh, molnupiravir that's a molecule which is highly uh, recognized wo- around the world and that's what we have started uh, re- very latest and then the studies are going on whether it will be effective against omicron which is a, and this is very dynamic and then a volatile kind of thing right so there are studies going on whether it will be effective against uh, molnupiravir are you working on any drug uh, related to diabetes because when it would be helpful for them for diabetic patients right so are you working on it yeah of course this is uh, i think a large portfolio uh, for the anti diabetic medicines mm-hmm. already there so how does it work yeah it's a very effective and then very successful molecules or successful medicines brand in india and then around the world mm-hmm. so there are many uh, molecules or products 
with the anti diabetic uh, portfolio doctor they already have okay, so in the hospital suppose now a patient is suffering with diabetes and at the same time uh, he or she is having some problems and if this drug is used to them for them so how the, how does it affect them what is the process so these are already known molecules mm-hmm. right uh, these molecules are known and then uh, many companies are already you know manufacturing this kind of medicines um, as per the um, so diabetes is something that we need to continue to treat right like there is a um, probably uh, not sure uh, people uh, are uh, effective in let's say completely negating diabetes so once the diabetes came probably um, if it is became more severe right i think the, then uh these kind of medicines are really required and then it is enabling people to control the diabetes you know curing initial stages i think that's i think that's possible mm-hmm. but once it is became little more uh even i think it is slightly difficult all the best to neo science hub all the best to neo science hub